I'm Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. This topic comes from my 30 plus years of business, sales and freight moving success. Watch, learn and apply it. You'll move more freight efficiently, effectively, effortlessly and make more money financially. And call me at 626-309-9141 with any questions. Now explode your business with... Hello and welcome to my Tuesday conference call everybody. Ted Keyes, your host and top freight agent training expert here in Southern California. Today I'll show you how to move more freight efficiently, effectively and effortlessly so you make more money financially. And after the call today, go to my website tedkeysonline.com to hear more of my podcasts, read more of my blog posts, watch more of my videos, and while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to explode your business today. And if you have any questions today, any questions regardless of what it is, or specifically, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales, freight broker training, then give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141. Today's training topic is how you remember your freight prospects names. How you remember your freight prospects names. So for those of you that are on my list, just scroll down to any one of those email invites that I sent you today and open up that first attachment where we're going to go over the, one of the most important calls that I can give is how you remember your freight prospects names. And truly, this is one of the most important calls I can give because I'll say this, our name, our name is one of the most valuable possessions that we hold dear to us. Now, let me focus on what I just said. It's one of our most valuable possess, uh, possessions. Now, my name may not be valuable to you, your name may not be valuable to me, but the point is when you understand how valuable someone's name is to them personally, and you actually take the effort to remember their name, you're, you're going to see your relationships just fly up the charts because I cannot express how important it is in business and in life that we remember individuals' names that we come in contact with regardless of the situation. So go ahead and uh, as I said, open up that first attachment and let's talk about how you remember your freight prospects names. Now there's nothing worse than seeing a freight prospect, somebody that you've come in contact with already or he uh, hearing their voice and totally forgetting their name. I cannot express again how important it is, but there's these situations where we come in contact with them again. They call us for whatever reason. We remember their voice, but for some reason we've forgotten their name. There's also nothing worse than seeing a prospect or hearing a prospect, just like I talked about, hearing their voice, totally forgetting their name, and they know and call you by name. I mean, how embarrassing is that? Well, being terrible at remembering others' names is not an incurable condition as you continually hear others say, and I cannot, I cannot express how, how uh, disdained I am when I hear this, when people say, I'm terrible with names. Well, typically, if somebody's telling you that they're terrible with names, there's a high priority that they have not gotten very far in their profession, all right? Especially in sales. If a salesperson tells you I'm terrible at names, I guarantee you that they are not at the top of their, their company's leaderboard. So here are several techniques, several techniques to start utilizing to transform yourself into a master name caller, hence avoiding those awkward um, uh, well, hey, you, buddy, guy moments, 
and make all your freight prospects that you see in here feel memorable. Here's how you do it. Here's how you do it. Here's the first example on how to remember, how to remember your freight prospect's name. And that is when you're introduced to create a visual reminder of your prospect. When you're introduced, now again, our profession deals a lot with us meeting on the phone. However, you can create uh, some type of reminder while you're on, on the phone, but I'm gonna talk about a visual reminder where you can actually see them face to face. Now, this works by creating this visual reminder associated with your, your freight prospect's name. Here's how it works, here's how you do it. The next time you meet someone new, pick out the most memorable part of their face. Let me say that again. The next time you meet somebody new, pick out the most memorable part of their face. Could be anything from an unusual eye color to a large dark spot. I mean, it could be anything like that. You take your option, take your pick. The feature, okay, the feature, it must be noticeable and it's gotta be permanent and can't be, uh, you know, dark lipstick or, or, a, or a short, scruffy beard. Now, why is that? Well, it's because all that stuff will change over time. A scruffy beard could turn into a long beard or it could turn into no beard at all. Dark lipstick, that could turn into light lipstick or no, no lipstick at all over time. You'll then turn that person's name into an image, plain and simple. Say you meet a man, okay, here's an example. Say you meet a man, is, uh, you know, is, the guy's name is Harry, all right? Picture Harry Truman, all right? Or you may, you may picture, you know, just by, just by meeting Harry, you may picture Harry Truman or, hey, say this guy is Harry, you know, you know, picture a hairy man in your image, all right? Take the image and mentally attach it to the person's face using that prominent feature as an anchor. Again, whatever it is that you choose. Example, let's say Harry has a mole on his nose, all right? Let's say he has a mole on his nose. Then you can imagine Harry Truman on the top of that mole. I mean, again, I'm just giving you an example of how this works. Your visual hook is now created, all right? Next time you run into Harry, all right, your new freight prospect, your old freight, your, your old freight prospect, you'll see the mole, okay, because it'll be there right on his face. Think of Harry Truman and Harry's name is right there on the tip of your tongue to re reintroduce yourself to Harry and impressing him to no end. Okay, that's just one example of a visual reminder. Let me tell you how I do it, all right? For me, for me personally, when I'm introduced to somebody, what I do is I keep repeating the prospect's name until it clicks into my brain. I just keep repeating it over and over again, but I don't just say Tom, 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 Tom. I repeat it in my conversation with Tom. You know, people always ask me, why do I ask so many questions when I meet somebody? Here's the reason why, so I can continue to repeat your name so it clicks into my brain. Why do I do that? Because I understand how valuable your name is to you. For example, Rick, when you first called me, how many times did I repeat your name in our, or in our initial conversations? Maria, when you met me, how many times did I repeat your name and continue to ask you questions in our initial conversations. That's why I ask so many questions. Hey, some people are put off by my questions, but hey, I understand the value of your name. That's why I continue to ask so many questions with your name peppered in those questions. So not only am I remembering your name, I'm, I'm figuring out and I'm learning more about you. Don't be afraid to get a little, a little weird with these images that you create, okay? It's much easier to remember Britney Spears dancing on top of someone's nose than a smiley face on someone's cheek. So, first example, first technique, create a visual reminder of your prospect. You, you choose it. It doesn't have to be his face, it could be his hands. 
Maybe the guy's got big hands, okay? You can relate his name to the size of his hands. I mean, this can work in infinite ways. Second technique to remember your prospects' names is to download this app. Now, don't get me wrong, there are many apps that you can utilize to, to assist you in remembering, uh, remembering people's names. But I'm just going to give you one example to keep this night nice, short, and simple. Computers. Computers have perfect memories. Well, I shouldn't say perfect, but they have close to perfect memories. When you forget a freight prospect's name, download the app, remember. It's an app that stores all your connections for you. Now, the downside of an app is you actually have to enter your name into the app. The upside of the app, if you are computer literate, is it will assist you in remembering your contact's name. So every time you meet a new freight prospect, enter their name, contact info and note about them or notes about them, or a neat freight detail that they shared with you. It could be a lane that they shared with you. It could be a type of trailer that they use, anything like that enter it into their contact info. The app then, it's gonna search Facebook to find a picture of your new prospect. So now you have a visual reference. Again, the app remember, it keeps a log of the freight prospects you meet every time. It automatically keeps track of where and when you meet each one and sends you notifications when you get back to them. Now, again, there are many more apps out there on the market. Me personally, I prefer old school. It's what I'm used to. Uh, plus it keeps my brain sharp. It keeps my brain sharp by continually putting forth the effort to remember person's name. I remember my technique more than I'm going to remember an app. Either way, they both work. Uh, what I just shared with you, it works for me. That's all I can tell you. Let's go on to our third technique. Third technique is real simple. Just ask your prospect to say their name again. Now this is after you've been introduced to them. You've been introduced, uh, you know, it could have been a while, you run into them again. What do you do? Just ask your prospect to say their name again. We all blank out on freight, on freight prospects' names, not only that, but on other folks' names, but that doesn't mean you don't ask for it. Again, or worse, struggle through your conversation without it. I mean, that's, that's when you, know, you hear people calling dude or bro or hey or guy. I mean, if, if you hear that between a conversation, it's because the individuals have not paid the effort to remember people's names, all right? The best way to get a prospect's name who, you, who you've already been introduced to Again, just ask them to repeat their name. Just ask them. Let me give you an example. I just happened to be recently. Uh, this is a young man I met in our church. I, I specifically stressed to him how important it is that he remembers people's names. Why? He's a young man. I thought I'd share some advice to him. Plus, every time I meet him, I'd call him by name. Hey, Reuben and then he'd be sit there all dumb and starry-eyed because he didn't remember my name. Well, interesting thing happened recently. We've moved recently. Uh, I saw Reuben in our new church. I went up to him, lo and behold, I forgot Reuben's name. I haven't seen him in six months, but I forgot his name. What did I do? I went up to him. The first thing that came out of my mouth is, hi, man, I forgot your name. <laughs> Again, I'm admitting my guilt, but the first thing, I just got it over with, hey, hey, what is your name? Again, you just ask for it. You know, just, just get it out and ask them their name. Again, remember, we are more than happy to tell anybody what our name is. Why? Because we value it so highly. When you don't remember prospect's name, here's another example. Look for a way to introduce them to somebody else. The key though, again, the key is to introduce the person you know to the freight prospects whose name you forgot rather than the other way around. So when you follow the order, when you follow this order, the forgotten prospects naturally will introduce themselves. Now, let me give you an example. Here's how it works, okay? So here's me to a prospect whose name I've forgotten and I just happen to have my wife Maria with me, all right? I run into uh, my prospect, I've forgotten his name. What do I do? I say, hey, this is my wife Maria. 
All right, I don't say his name. Of course, I say, hi, how's it going? This is my wife, Maria, the prospect who has been introduced to my wife, Maria, whose name I forgot. What's he going to do? He introduces himself to Maria back to her. I'm Muhammad. So, boy, great to see you. This is my wife, Maria. What does he respond back with? Shakes her hand. I'm Muhammad. There's his name. It's, it, it's I've got his name back. Again, again there, there's plenty of situations where the strategy doesn't work, however. Say you bumped into a prospect while shopping or running errands and there's no one around for you to introduce them to. Well, in these situations, just ask, how do you spell your name? See, now that would be easy when, uh, again, I, I haven't remembered Muhammad's name, but that would make sense, all right, because Muhammad is spelled in so many different ways. Now, if, if you, when you do this and you say, how do you spell your name? And he goes, T-O-M, Tom. Well, at least you got, at least you got the name. You look like, you know, you got a little egg on your face because it's such an easy name, but at least you got his name. And again, start calling him by name in your conversations. <clears throat> let me let me let me stress how important this is and how important it was to Dale Carnegie, the the writer of uh, how to win uh, uh, how to win friends, okay? Dale Carnegie said, "Remember that a person's name is the sweetest and most important sound in any language. I can't stress how important it is that you, that you take this and you apply it. I'll say it again, Dale Carnegie, remember that a person's name is the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Again, he's the author of How to Win Friends and Influence People. Use these three techniques, guys, to remember your prospects and others' names, and everyone you meet will automatically like you a little more. Great topic for today. Again, those three techniques. Technique number one, create a visual reminder of your prospect. Technique number two, download that app, remember. Technique number three, just ask your prospect to say their name again. This is after you've been introduced once or twice or three times. Just blurt it out. Hey, forgot your name. It shows how human you are as well. Great topic today. Again, my topic is how you remember your freight prospects names. I can't express how important it is. First of all, how much you realize how important it is that we all place tremendous value on our name. And really it's something that was given to us by our parents, but over time we hear it again and again and again. And over the course of our life, we place this tremendous value. I mean, after all, if you're in a crowd and somebody yells out your name, hey, Ted, believe me, I'm gonna turn around and I'm going to notice because I place tremendous value on my name as well. Great topic for today. Again, my topic is, how do you remember your freight prospects' names? In concluding my call today, in concluding my call, do you, do you have any questions about what I just went over today? Any questions, regardless of what it is, or more importantly, more specifically, are you ready to join our top producing freight sales team? Yes? Give me a call, Ted Keys. I'm at 626-309-9141. I'll see you all again next week, same time, 2 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time on my Tuesday conference call. Take care. God bless you all. I'll see you all again next week. God bless you and bye-bye. When you arrive at my Freight Sales Success Store today, you'll see a number, a host of products available there for purchase. First one you'll see available is my flagship product. That is my freight sales success guide, typically for beginner and struggling freight agents. If you're searching for that daily motivation, daily motivation to set goals, to achieve them, to pick up the phone daily and uh, connect and build relationships with the marketplace, then opt for my freight sales success quotes. And if you're searching for those specific skills, and there are many skills, many individual skills required to be successful in this profession, then opt for my freight sales success skill. I highly recommend each one of these products available for purchase today in my freight sales success store. Do you have any questions again? Do you have any questions about today's call? 
or more importantly, are you ready for my top producing one-on-one -on -one personal freight sales freight broker training? Then give me, Ted Keys a call. I'm at 626-309-9141. Great topic for today. Take these skills, apply them. You'll be amazed at what happens to your results.